In Money Watch tonight, a new industry is on the horizon for the state. We may have quite a future with wineries, which seems like a pretty unlikely business for us here in the desert. But the governor has now signed a bill into law that will expand the possibilities for it. And as Aaron Breen shows us tonight, it's one a lot of people plan on cashing in on. We grow 13 different kinds of wines, uh, wine grapes. We grow anything from Cabernet Sauvignon to Chardonnay. This Certainly year, this is proof it can be done. In fact, it's been a backyard hobby here for years. I believe there was over 25,000 vines in the ground in people's backyards and things like that. So yeah, there are now people really interested in establishing a commercial uh, winery here in Reno. And now the state legislature has lifted a ban on growing this industry in Clark and Washoe counties, allowing them to establish tasting rooms, which those in the industry say is critical to establishing a successful winery. All that is good news in getting started. But there is a catch in production limits. While you can import grapes to get started, you have to have homegrown grapes in the mix. You can only make a thousand cases from wine from California. The anything above a thousand cases has to be 25% Nevada. Luckily, grapes seem to like it here. All kinds of grapes. Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Chardonnay, Riesling. And our weather here in Nevada is actually a plus when it comes to growing grapes. We've got warm days, cool nights, and the fact that we don't have much water isn't a problem. The biggest concern here is the spring frost. So we, you know, the last few years we haven't really had an issue with that. And there's things that we can do to sort of combat that. And if we follow Washington State's lead in developing wine as an industry here, it could have a pretty big economic payoff. It's just over $8 billion economic impact annually to the state of Washington. Which you have to admit sounds sweeter than a Gewurztraminer or even a Moscato. Cheers. Covering Money Watch, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News.